Hi, I'm Brad from Old Corner at Takedown Festival 2015. I'm joined with the lovely Zokes. Hi there. Hi there. Would you like to introduce yourselves? I am Adam. I'm Doug. Awesome, guys. So you've just played the district stage. How was that? It was like a really good episode of My Little Pony. <laughs> well, it was. Would you get to elaborate? It was just full of colour and smiles. Awesome. Do you know? The rainbow that broke halfway through the set was just uh, unbelievable. And the cascading second rainbow was... That would be all over Instagram, I'm sure. Oh, I was thinking, mate. <laughs> you, you emphasise on creating really creative music that isn't kind of like stale and you fuse a lot of influences. What motivates you to create your sound? Um, I think it was just when we, when we started as, the, as a band, we listened to so much different music yeah. individually that we just wanted to not put ourselves in like a hole yeah. and just go, let's just be a metal band or let's be a rock band. It was kind of just... Whatever comes naturally, yeah, let's we be go who for we it. want to be. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, just enjoy it. Well, I, think, I think everyone's into really different styles of music yeah. as well. So um, everyone's different instruments come together, and you know, in the writing stage, sometimes it creates something absolutely dreadful, and then sometimes it creates something really yeah. good. So it's. Oh, I it's mean, good. I love what you guys do because it is so nice. Because oh, I, I completely, I think I read on your Facebook about like the stale bands and stuff like that. And to be honest, I completely agree with you. There are so many bands nowadays that are like. You, you don't know if they're a different band because their stuff is so like, similar. I, I love music. Yeah, like it's yeah best, so do I. It's the best thing on earth, and I feel... I like it a lot. <laughs> it's all right. I feel like dragging Adam to shows he doesn't want to go to constantly. I'm, I'm, showing I'm, him. I'm at home watching Raw, do you know what I mean? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, WWE fan. Oh, big time, big time. Awesome. We won't even get into that because this interview will go on far too oh, long. Yeah. Serious tangent. <laughs> big up WWE. But I mean, Fozzie are playing here at some point in the next couple of months, oh, so we can chat about that too. Adam will be much more excited yeah. about that. Yeah, yeah. Go but get yeah, me, no, Chris. I feel like I've seen the same band about a million times, to be perfectly honest with you, and I... There are some exceptional bands out there, don't get me wrong. Yeah, for, I just feel sure. like everyone right now who's watching this has just went, that guy's a dickhead. I know, <laughs> I know. But, I mean, at least I said it. You know what I mean? I'm not like, you not check out person. every single band ever. They're all awesome. Like, <laughs> well, yeah. it doesn't work like that. Everyone, it's a subjective thing, and I don't like some bands, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> very fair play. So you released <laughs> Is Everybody Listening? <laughs> you released Everybody is, is Everybody Listening last month. How was the recording process for this album? Uh, this EP, sorry. You well, we, um, our friend, good friend Daria Nagel, recorded the um, recorded basically everything at, uh, at his house, and the drums were done at a separate studio. That's and awesome. then it was um, the vocals were done with uh, Kiran O'Shea. Yeah, sorry. Right. So uh, <laughs> how he says it, I say Kiran, but it's a struggle oh, there. Kiran, Kiran O'Shea, and uh, they were done in uh, in Ireland. So uh, Adam Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> Adam did it basically close to his hometown and uh, Joe flew over and was out there with him doing that and then after we got all the sort of individual nuggets of gold um, Nolly, like Adam Get Good yeah. he, um, he recorded he recorded, sorry he uh, edited and mixed and mastered absolutely everything yeah, which is how the awesome. sort of final process came about but we're really happy with it yeah I mean I love it I've been oh, playing it you. so much it's so thank good you. man uh, so the next step for Zokes has surely got to be a full length album is that in the pipeline at all? Or? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's in the making. There's no doubt. Like, yeah. we don't want to say, yeah, absolutely, it's coming out at this time. You can't rush our art. <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> double tickets. <laughs> um, no, it's yeah. It's, it's it is just a process that we're in. We've we've always been striving yeah. to do that. Yeah. But it's just the time and the building up towards this, and just making sure it's going to be something that is worth while for everyone's attention. Yeah. You know, it's, yeah. it's, it's one thing just to write for your fans, but you, you kind of want to, you want a fan to go, have you ever heard this band? Yeah. You know, you, you should really check them out. It might not be your thing, but I think it, you might enjoy some parts. Yeah, because a lot so. of bands just rush and release like, an album really quickly. I, but like, at the same time, it's not really bands' faults to do that. You know, there, like, there's a lot of, like, you have to have it out with labels yeah. at this time, you know, and that's just the way it works. But, um, yeah, we're, 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 we are working towards it. Yeah. I, think, I think the external pressure of a label and people being like so where's this debut is a good thing yeah you know because everyone would like to spend 10 years writing an album yeah you of course know? they would yeah but Jesus, 10 years <laughs> but you know it's mean, <laughs> a slight exaggeration <laughs> that'd be a lot of takes on that <laughs> <laughs> that is for sure takes 482 <laughs> <laughs> so you've done some amazing things in your career such as playing Download Festival and <laughs> supporting so many bands but what has been the best moment so far for you guys well uh, the best is yet to come is uh, having a team song at Wrestlemania 
Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, that, that, that's fair enough. This is what I say to I everyone. I think that's going to be the best answer we're going to get, it's, and I completely agree. Like, You've made it. You're <laughs> forming at WrestleMania. It. That is my goal. It's like, to me, people have a nice time, but to have a wrestler coming out to my song. <laughs> Whose oh. wrestler would you like to enter the uh, song for, though? Right now, within the roster, I would pick Brock Lesnar. Yeah, be awesome. I, just, I could see it. Yeah. I reckon here comes the pain. Yeah, Jokes. I think, I think Paul Heyman deserves some sort of uh, <laughs> intro as well. Do you know what? Like, bit of that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> can't wait. I can't Jokes wait. featuring Paul Heyman. It's going to be awesome. I've got two favourites. Yeah. Uh, we played opening for Tonight Alive. Awesome. And the crowd response, it was in Oxford at the O2 Academy, and the crowd response was unbelievable. That was one of the best yeah. nights of my life. Yeah. Um, download the second yeah. time we played yeah. at the Pepsi Max stage was, I never thought I would get to do that. Yeah, like, I saw you guys. Oh, really? Yeah, awesome. Oh, man. So I, cool. just, I, I know, I never thought I would get to do that, to be perfectly honest yeah. with you. So, like, at the end of the day, we're all music fans. And yeah, we exactly. All want to do and to play somewhere like that, like, it's stuff for dreams really yeah, like let's be honest cliche, it was amazing yeah. like I can't blast it off and like yeah that was cool man it's not it was amazing yeah. but deep down Doggy's won his Wrestlemania as well <laughs> no I I want to do Warp Tour Warped like Tour. I would cut off some toes yeah definitely for Warp Tour <laughs> and I would maybe I, I would love to do I'd not even maybe cut off some toes for Soundwave I would love to do Soundwave yeah that yeah, would be awesome. my two biggest names but Warp Tour is the childhood dream but the night. question is how many toes would you cut off for, for Warp Tour I don't know it depends what the initial ask was and I'd get it down and then I'd meet in the middle Okay. You know? I reckon it would have to be three. Three. It looked minimum. really weird anyway. Because <laughs> our big tool count is two. Uh, yeah, I reckon <laughs> yeah. so. I reckon so. so. Well, I might overshoot the mark and give them four straight off the bat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, headline straight away. <laughs> so, what other tours do you guys have lined up this year? We are going out on a headliner from the 31st of March to the 13th of April. And it starts in Glasgow and it ends in London. But we're doing... Loads and loads, loads and loads of shows on that run. We're going out with Dead, who are playing today. Yeah, that's well. They're checking them out. They're a great really cool. band. And then we are going out for eight days that end up on the 22nd of May in uh, Southampton, right here, with Fearless Vampire Killers, who are also playing today. Yeah, awesome. Um, Sounds great. So that's going to be great. And then we're also doing um, Hit the Deck Festival, which is the. That's in Bristol, isn't it? It is. Yeah, I'll it, be it's, going it's, to in that two, as well. it's in two towns, and it's the. I want to say 25th and 26th. Yeah, my number of retention is gone. Oh, I really, I'm I agree with you, for my honest. <laughs> for those, that series of dates. So yeah, Sounds we're doing awesome. hit the deck, which will be unbelievable. That's another. Yeah, that's like a yeah. UK festival. Re- really that's a really good world. festival. Yeah. So, what new music are you guys digging at the moment? Um, I'm definitely enjoying an album by an artist called Natalie Press. Um, loving her at the moment. She released her debut in January, I think, or early February. It's incredible, and also since thrice have announced to play Heavy Fest oh. I've just gone back and yeah, just listened to all of their bit, stuff yeah. and I've only for the first time listened to Converge oh really yeah yeah you listen to them. yeah it's, it's, them. it's pretty intense and uh, yeah it's just amazing music so yeah. I'm enjoying all that at the moment awesome what about you I came to the Ben Howard party really really late right and so I've just been vibing that I've really really enjoyed that yeah. um and I have been listening to what else have been listening to? I listen to loads of Ryan Adams. I'm a complete yeah. uh, a Ryan Adams addict. <laughs> um, and I'm just trying to think what else I've been really. I don't. I've basically Slayer. I uh, Slayer. 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 Yeah, 24 Slayer seven. <laughs> I bought I bought uh, Spotify Premium, so I listen to yeah, a new that, album every day to justify yeah. the payment. So yeah. I've listened to loads of new music, but I haven't haven't hit anything that makes like Ben Howard I've just yeah. listened to Ben Howard over and over again so maybe that's do you, love, do you love how he rubbed in I got Spotify premium <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, 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 I got Spotify pay. executive <laughs> <laughs> three dickhead moves okay. honestly I'm actually quite a nice guy so really sorry sorry guys so what is the ultimate goal for Zokes you mentioned Soundwave earlier but what is the ultimate goal I'll give you one guess WrestleMania Good I suppose you did kind of answer that earlier <laughs> my ultimate goal is Warp Tour I mean not to restate the whole thing I would love to be able to do this full time to be perfectly honest with you on whatever level if I get a good couple of years doing this full time I'd be incredibly happy awesome thank you very much I've been Brad reporting for Old Corner you've been Zokes thanks yeah. so much guys thank, thank you. you very much